Hey guys, um, today I'm finally back with another uh, swatch slash um, review of all of the liquid lipsticks that I've bought. So um, in the past two months or so, I've been going crazy after Kylie launched her lip kit and I've just discovered this whole new world of liquid lipsticks and um, I know there's been a lot like millions of liquid lipstick reviews by now but I just wanted to get you like a whole spectrum of different brands mostly in nudes, pinks, mauves, purples, browns that I use, that I've tried um, so today I'm gonna go through about 20 different shades um, and different lipsticks so uh, yeah let's get started let's get started with candy K candy K is my favorite um, a lot of people have asked me how I got the Kylie lip kits well I didn't wake up super early just to try them I actually got them from a reseller on Instagram so what I do is search the hashtag Kylie lip kit HK and then you'll find a bunch of resellers who order them from online and then you can pick them up from them in Hong Kong um, and it, it, it costs a little bit more, probably like 300 to 350 depends on who you get it from. But it's a good deal because I don't have to wake up at 3 a.m. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a bit. I think this is by far my favorite color of all time. It's very natural. It's also a very um, good beginner color for like because I never used to wear lipsticks at all and um because I have a really small mouth I felt like they look weird on me uh, but actually this is a great color to get started with it's quite close to my natural lip color and when it dries it's so pretty like what it says on the box you only need uh, one thin layer and that's it it stays on pretty much the whole day you can eat you can drink uh, no oily stuff obviously but um, actually does a lot better than a lot of the um, bigger or more famous brands just because of how lasting it is when I first started wearing it it was a bit dry but then actually if you put lip balm before you put it on it's actually a really good wear it's comfortable um, it didn't make me want to uh, wipe it off or anything like that so it's actually a really nice color each time I'm gonna do a different color, I'm gonna do the layer like the bottom lip and then switch to the top lip and the bottom lip so you can see the difference. So now I'm gonna try the Exposed, which is a orangey, more like peachy based color. Okay, I applied it badly, but um, the bottom is Exposed and the top is Candy Cape. So now, I'm going to switch to a different brand. We're going to try the Kylie K Dupe, which is the ColourPop ones. I have their lippy sticks as well, but um, when we're just doing mattes today, and I have the Trap and Stingray. Okay, so the top is ColourPop Trapped, the bottom it is a uh, drier wear, I think, compared to uh, Kylie Lip Kit, but I do think they have a big range of colors and they're a lot cheaper. They're not that terrible when you use them with um, lip balm beforehand, so it's good. And also, the Kylie Lip Kit and the ColourPop are the same size. So um, if you're on a budget, ColourPop is great. We're gonna try a different color. This is Stingray by Colourpop. And um, obviously you probably need a lip liner with this, but it's a very nice colour. And I would love it for a night out. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go to another very popular brand, which is the Jeffree Stars. Uh, I have them in a two of the most popular colors. One is Celebrity Skin and the other one is Gemini. Um, Celebrity Skin is one of the most uh, popular colors there are and I think it's a very similar color to Candy K. 
Alright, so only my bottom lip has celebrity skin on. It's actually very similar to my natural lip color. It applies on very nicely. It's not as drying as Kylie or ColourPop. And it's not creamy, it's not sticky, it's just a little bit more buttery. Applies on very smoothly. So it's only on my bottom lip. And now I'm gonna try on Gemini on top. The top is Gemini, and you probably need a lip liner with this again, but it's a very nice everyday color. It's also a little bit similar to Ginger, but I'm also planning to get that. These two are the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, and I actually love both of them a lot. Um, so they wear really comfortably the whole day, and they're kiss-proof. Um, they are also not as drying. Now we're gonna move on to another very popular brand, which is Lime Crime. Um, I got these from Dolls Kill um, when they were having a sale. Uh, they ship directly to Hong Kong, and so does uh, Jeffree Star. All right, so while it dries, Lime Crime is uh, the formula or the wear is rather similar to Jeffree Star. Um, it's creamy, liquidy, and not sticky at all. It dries quickly and it doesn't crack. Um, it's also quite uh, transfer and kiss proof. So, Gemini and Saint. Oh my god, guys, I love Buffy. So, Buffy is a browner color. Uh, definitely more brown than Candy K. And you know, I don't know what to say. It's just a very nice color. And you don't need a lip liner with this. Yeah, okay, we're back. Um, if you notice any difference with the camera, it's just because I ran out of memory and it's super lame. Anyway, okay, so now we're back and we're trying a different brand. Is the Gerard Cosmetics. I will put the price right here. Um, like I said, they had pretty shitty packaging, but um, I got them in three colors as a bundle. So this is Ice Mocha on the bottom lip. The formula actually applies on slightly thicker than Lime Crime or Jeffree Star is actually quite hydrating as they call it. They're the Hydra Mats. They are... I actually haven't worn them that often. I don't think it's a horrible color actually. I do prefer the brown on the Buffy rather than this. This is kind of, kind of more purple and not really a mocha color. Next we're gonna try Invasion which is a more purpley color. They're rather similar, but you can tell that the top is more purple than the bottom. And it actually makes you look yellower a bit. I'm not hating it a lot though. It's not bad. And uh, finally from Dry Cosmetics is the Everything Nice color. This is Everything Nice. With one layer, it's actually not that crazy of a color. It's quite bright. And a nice summer um, coral red. So, now the next brand that we're gonna try is the Dose of Color, which is highly raved by many, many YouTubers and makeup artists. They come in cute tubes like these. Alright. The top is Bear With Me and beneath, as you remember, is Gerard's Cosmetics Everything Nice. Just one layer is still a little bit um, transparent. You can see the color of my lips and you probably need a second layer, which is what I'm gonna do. 
This dries really quickly and um, you probably need a lip liner for this. But um, it wears really comfortably and you know, I have nothing to complain about it. It's creamy and the formula is amazing. So today I've been wearing stone the whole day and I've noticed that it actually transfer more than um, Lime Crime or Kylie or Celebrity uh, or Jeffree Star and it's also not as opaque so you do need to reapply a couple of times after you eat, after you drink. It does transfer onto the black mug that I have um, but those are not very important things because this is one of the most comfortable formulas I have uh, tried before. This is stone and this is bear with me so now moving on we're gonna try some more niche brands uh, I have a couple more to go and the next one is caked cosmetics from the US as well oh my god I have like lipstick stains everywhere all right so this is creme de la creme Kate um, Lip Fondant liquid lipsticks are a bit sticky and they take quite a while to dry. It's actually not my favorite formula as far as liquid lipsticks go just because, because it feels so sticky and um, maybe even after an hour you're still feeling on your lips and you want to go the whole day. Uh, but color wise, Creme de la Creme is very similar to Lime Crime's Buffy. Okay, this is Power Trip. Again, you probably need a lip liner with this, but the formula is um, a less thick than Creme de la Creme, and when I put it on, um, it's definitely not sticky compared to Creme de la Creme for some reason, which is quite weird. Maybe it's just the color, uh, but I like this. It's the first time I'm trying this on, and I think with the right lip liner, it's going to be a very, very pretty and bold color. After that, we are going to try NYX's Lip Lingerie, which was very hard to get. Um, I got it from another small shop in Mong Kok in the basement, but I will try and put it in the description below where I got everything most of the time I get it from Instagram shops or I try to fish them out from like Mong Kok stores so let's try this all right this is one layer of the um, bedtime flirt color this um, formula is one of the creamier uh, formulas out of the ones that I've tried rather than liquid is quite moussey um, and the staying power is not amazing either but it's a very comfortable wear and it's a very natural color so I keep it in my bag for like every day if I just wanted a little color on my lips so it's quite nice and it's quite affordable as well um, after that we're gonna try the long-lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra the color payoff is all right. The formula is again a little bit moussey, but not as moussey as the NYX one. So this is the color in the tube, and the bottom lip is the color payoff. I'm sorry for the stain, but it's just impossible trying on so many lipsticks. So yeah, it also doesn't dry super matte. Last but not least at all, we're gonna try something from Hong Kong, which is the Molly Cosmetics. Uh, I actually bought four, but I'm only gonna try two today. Um, oh, sorry. These two. Um, as you can tell, they're still sealed and I haven't opened them. Okay guys, holy shit. I am in love with the color payoff. How pretty is this color right now? This is topaz, but it actually comes out on my lips quite um, maroon. 
I quite like it with just one layer. It's extremely opaque and with a right lip liner. Um, yeah, super bold. And I like that it's a good mix between brown and red so it doesn't like, you know, take off all the colors from your face. But also keeps you looking real cute. And it's a very, very unique color. I love it! So from what I can hear, Molly Cosmetics is quite new on the scene. But they've been gaining like huge traction on Instagram, guys. So if you haven't tried, like, check them out. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. The color payoff is amazing! So they dry completely matte. Transfer proof. And it's like super comfortable. I don't feel it being dry. It doesn't crack. It's not streaky. My god! I'm like super speechless right now. I feel like their colors are probably my favorite out of all of the brands. I mean, I'm always gonna wear Candy K just because of how unique the color is and um, how obsessed I am with Kylie. But otherwise, I am like all down with Molly Cosmetics, guys. Check that out. I will put a link below. Um, after you make a purchase, they always include a little message card that you can get a 10% off your next purchase. So it's gonna be awesome. You guys have to check it out. They also have metallics, like a nice um, gold metallic liquid lipstick that you guys just have to check out. All right, so that's it. We've tried all most almost all the liquid lipsticks of, that I've purchased in the past two months. So let me know which ones have you tried, which ones should I try next time, um, and which one is your favorite. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.